here we are, Friday afternoon, pouring down with rain and if you had in mind to come out and cut the lawn because this was the only time you've got because you've been working all week it would be a no-no, you would get absolutely soaked to the skin and in a case like mine where the lawn gets very boggy in certain places you would find the uh, conventional mow would just absolutely rip it to pieces. The advantage of the Husqvarna is that even in the bad weather like now and even when the ground is very wet and saturated the machine still cuts doing a good job without any problems. This uh, lawn is, uh, is, is an old lawn, it's probably 80 years old so it's had a, a, good, uh, a good life but the Husqvarna has certainly started to make it look better. Um, we've eradicated all the weeds which we always had a problem with and now it looks like we're also getting rid of all the moss so uh, for me it's uh, it's a good uh, a good machine um, anybody contemplating buying one i would definitely say put your hand in your pocket and buy one a good quality conventional mower is not much cheaper than one of these and i think in my my honest opinion this outweighs the conventional mower apart from anything else the weight of a conventional mower if you're a bit older is uh, is one thing you don't have to mess about with petrol or uh, temperamental engines. With this, it just tooters along, as you can see, minding its own business and cutting the lawn. It cuts in the rain, it cuts in the wind, it cuts in the cold, it cuts in the night. This has been running for me since the end of June and uh, it's been coming out twice or three times a week sometimes. Um, and it does the job perfectly. I've only had one problem, which was a power cut when we first got the machine, which was the uh, the end of June and there we go stop turn back up turn around and off we go and as you'll see now through the water not even hesitating no problem at all all I can say is if you're gonna buy one don't mess about get it bought and enjoy it